Hello all. Today we are going to discuss about one of the important uh, uh, topic that is a uh, web SSR account and trial head is going to be merged in the future. Uh, don't waste our time. Let's get started into video. In recent days, Salesforce made an announcement that is uh, like uh, our web SSR account. Earlier, whichever we are going to write an exam in the web SSR account and we are apply, uh, applying the vouchers and all that web SSR account going to be merged with our Salesforce trial head itself. Okay, that is the latest update we received from the Salesforce. Let's see uh, what is it is and uh, how it is and when they are going to implement the changes. Okay, in the trial head itself, they, may, they posted an official update like uh, all the certi Salesforce certifications will be available via Trailhead Academy starting July, of, July 21st, 2500. Okay, on the last day, it is 21st July. So from that day onwards, the new UI will be introduced in the Salesforce Trailhead itself and whatever the active certifications we have, those things we can able to see in the, our uh, Trailhead, uh, Trailhead only. Why? Because it should be good for if anyone wants to visit our profile, if they want to check, it should be visible for all, all the one, like it is 360 degree view. Okay, that is a very good feature actually. And coming to date wise, on June 30, 2025, last day to register for a Salesforce exam in WebSSR. Like in WebSSR, July 30 is the last day to register, if any exams. And once you registered in the WebSSR, on before on or before uh, 30 june you have to complete those exams or uh, before 13th of july okay if you applied the voucher via web sir and if you not completed your exams before 13th of july uh, it will be expired there is no use of that voucher uh, for no more and uh, july 21st onwards the new experience we can see in our trailhead academy Okay, the registration on launches in the trial head only. So what here they are majorly telling, if you have any vouchers, if you want to apply it, apply before June 30 and complete the exam before July 13. Otherwise, there is no use of that uh, certification. It will be expired the voucher or else if you have received an voucher and uh, you are not going to write the exam before July 13. Then better you don't apply the voucher in the web SSR account. Wait for July 21st and once the new academy, trailhead academy is launches, then apply the voucher in the uh, trailhead. Then you can schedule it anywhere and uh, you can write your exam. Okay, that is the one key feature. And uh, there is a like uh, one more question is rise up. How to update our trial based account and uh, web SSR account? For example, this is my web SSR account. If you go to this edit profile, you can see whichever the email address I have used to create a web SSR account. How to do that one? If you go to this page, there is a trial browser profile. Click on that profile and uh, you can see how to update the profile. Okay, once you click on this, it will open our uh, profile. Okay, in this profile, go to settings. Click on profile and go to settings. Once you go to settings, uh, you can see these options like a uh, privacy concern. Like if you, you your account, trailhead account should be private or public. That is up to your wish. You can select as private or public. In my case, I have selected public. Why? Because if I sell, if I choose, I mean, if I give an interview for any of the company or any of the manager should want to check my profile they can easily able to check with uh, i mean check my profile with my name so i have given public but no one cannot do any deletions or any modifications in our trial log okay just they can able to see the whatever the updates or uh, modules you have done okay next thing is important in the connected accounts currently we are going to discuss about this one only like you have to connect your web SSR account with your trial head account in my case it's already connected why because i have only one email id i have used for web ssr account and uh, my trial head account okay in this in this case i have given my personal email id as well as if i go to this edit profile here also i have same email id 
yeah if there is a edit option is there if edit profile if you click on edit profile you can see the email address okay whatever the email address you have you have to update same email id in this accounts in this trial head accounts you have to copy that web SSR account email id and connect it with our trial header okay if you have different email id you have created trial header or uh, if you want to reconnect there is a create account uh, connect an account option is there simply you can click on connect account select uh, email or uh, salesforce or whatever it is okay or else you have one more business or email also option is there okay click on that email account or you can add your business email and click on next and connect okay once uh, once you connected it will show here in the connected accounts it will show your email id so what will happen if your email id is connected uh, trial head email id and the web basis or email id is same then whatever the salesforce i mean whatever the web basis or certifications you have same things will be shown up in the trial head also if email ids are mismatching then it won't show you so please be careful on this why because if you uh, forget this one or if you not updated before uh, ended july 21st then it will be collapse your uh, certifications and uh, no more you can't uh, show to anyone like uh, have completed this one or this one like you can't uh, show these uh, certifications to anyone so make sure this is a priority one and uh, please do make the changes accordingly and uh, connect to your uh, trial head account also with the web assessor email id what's happening if salesforce certification on july 21st 2025 after i mean uh, what's happening like the certifications will be available via trial head academy starting july 21st onwards this is what we discussed from july 21st onwards all the certifications if self showing in the trial head academy only including tab view mules or slack and uh, accredited pro professional it's not only for salesforce it is for tab view mules uh, and slack for all the things okay these are the kind of similar uh, questions we have i am going to give the these links in the description if anyone wants to go through these links please go through and uh, uh, complete your uh, assessment i mean complete your merging process before the july 21st onwards and if you have any doubt also you can post a comment definitely i'll uh, reply on it and uh, thank you thank you for watching please do like share and subscribe Thank you. Bye-bye.